Hmm. This is one of those good and challenging questions. Um, I think that one of the one of the things that I've noticed most about my writing is that I'm able to hold a larger picture in my head. Redemption in Indigo is based on a folk tale, and there is a, a thread of when I say simplicity, it's not a it's not a smear, but there is a thread of simplicity that you can get with a, with the kind of um, folk tale that you can't quite get when you're going into a more um, complex concept um, like space opera. So um, I think that I began to um, hold a lot more details in my head. There was more world building going on. I have had problems before of being carried away with the world building and almost forgetting where the story is. So being able to balance that as well is something that I'm developing. Um, but most of all, you really just understand that you almost don't know where your gaps are. You don't know where um, your weaknesses are until you try something and then you're like, oh my goodness, how in the world do I do that? So um, one of the reasons why I enjoyed writing best as much as I did was that I was working on something else and when I hit a wall, I was like, I gotta figure out how to do this and then I'd write a chapter of best, push myself to figure out how to do it. So whether it was really playing with unreliable narrator or trying to deal with um, um, non-chronological way of telling a tale, um, there were almost writing exercises that I set myself to push myself beyond um, what I was able to accomplish previously.